How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you guys a little app I discovered on the App Store that allows you to use your iOS device as a monitor for your MacBook or your iMac or any other Mac device you have. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to duetdisplay.com and download the free Mac application. Go ahead and download it and once that's installed, download the application onto your iOS device, may it be an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod. Once the application is downloaded, go ahead and connect your device to your Mac computer using a Lightning USB cable and launch the application. Once the application activates, you should see your monitors flicker for a second while your iPad becomes a new monitor. From there, you can go up to the top menu bar on your computer and adjust your settings. You can change the settings on your iPad monitor from 30 frames to 60 frames, and you can even have it show in a retina display mode if your device supports that. Newer computers are better at running the retina 60 frames per second mode because it does require a lot of CPU power. So now that you have your settings adjusted, you're pretty much set to go. You can start using your iPad as a second or third monitor in my case, and you can run Twitter applications on this, or you could use this as a video player, whatever you want, and it runs really well. I tested this on a mid-2011 iMac and a 2012 MacBook, and they both work really well. I could run it at 60 frames per second in retina mode, and it works perfectly. When I tested out video playback on the device, it seemed to work perfectly. It ran smooth at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second, and I even decided to try out emulators on this thing to see how they would run on the iPad while they were being displayed through the USB connection, and they also work really well. I was able to game with no lag at all. I tried out a NES game, I even tried out a PSP game and it worked very well. And just to show off, this can even run on my iPhone 5C. Although it's not practical for how small it is, it's more meant to be used on an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. You can actually run Duet Display on an iPhone 5C and it'll work just fine, it'll just be extremely small. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on Duet Display. I think for $9.99 it's definitely worth the purchase. It lets you use your device or your iOS devices as a monitor for your Macs. And it works pretty well compared to other applications I've used before. It runs pretty smooth and it makes great use of the more larger display on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Or if you have an iPad, it works pretty well too. So thank you all very much for watching my video. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up or a dislike if you didn't like it. Comment below on your thoughts on the application or if you did buy it, what you think of it. And thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya. Nintendo's relatively new to the DLC market. They've been releasing DLC for games like Fire Emblem Awakening and Pikmin 3, but they haven't really fully indulged into it. And I think Mario Kart 8's first DLC pack is that big entry into the DLC market. We have a level 50 Yoshi, a level 50 Mario with some attributes to him that make him a little bit stronger, and a Link who I barely started training, uh, training a couple of days ago. So we'll be training up Link in a little month.